Science. This is what Mars would look like to an astronaut arriving there for the first time. To be there would be inspiring and intimidating. It would be a giant step for mankind, and for many it would herald a new era in science. For others it would be overreaching. The technology simply isn't there to make this leap without unacceptable risk to life. The potential losses outweigh the gains. Yet the question remains, should we send humans there, or would it be less risky to send machines rather than men? Humans will go to Mars. I'm very sure about this. You just have to look back in human history and you'll know. Uh, as soon as we learned to build ships, we took them not to only go to the next island, we used them to sail over the horizon. The problem is time and the subsequent exposure to all of space's debilitating effects. Depending on the Mars orbit, it's 55 to 400 million kilometers away. One tour on the ISS leaves a hardened astronaut unable to stand on their return. With today's technology, um, such a mission to go to Mars and then to come back, we would generally think about three years. Uh, it would take eight to ten months to go there and then waiting for the next good position of the planets to come back quickly. Uh, it would stay, the, the crew would stay one year on Mars, maybe a bit more, and then once again eight to ten months to come back. In 2011, French engineer Romain Charles took part in the Mars 500 experiment to simulate a return trip to the Red Planet. He gives us his overview of the main difficulties we would face. I think that on top of the technical challenges that we should be able to overcome today, you have the, the challenges linked with the astronauts uh, themselves. And I would think of, of three mainly, the radiations in space, how to protect uh, humans from those radiations. The second one is weightlessness, how to make sure to have, uh, that we have good countermeasures so that the astronauts can work efficiently as soon as they arrive on Mars. And the third one is a psychological one. How can we make sure that the astronauts will be able to endure such a long trip to Mars? German Space Agency psychologist Bernd Johannes develops training systems for astronauts to keep their skills up to date during long duration spaceflight. He stresses the need for good teamwork. If men will go to Mars, then not a single astronaut will go to Mars. There will go a crew. And the crew depends on the relationship among our crew members. And that is, that is one of the most important uh, factors which will be a risk, become a risk for a mission success or will support the mission success. Despite the risks to an astronaut's body and mind of such a long trip in a confined capsule months from home, those who've lived in orbit on the ISS are positive that we should try. We humans are explorers since millions of years and since 50 years we know how to do spaceflight. So we're right at the beginning of this new technology, of this new age of exploration. Robot explorers are already there, leaving tracks in the red dust and gathering data for scientists safe on planet Earth. The open question is whether the rewards of sending humans to Mars can really justify the costs and risks involved.